everyone. So today I have a tutorial for you all, uh, just on the look that I'm wearing right now. It's something that's quite summery, uh, something that's a little bit different, uh, something that can be used as a festival makeup or uh, even for a summer party. I wanted to do a tutorial for you all using the Bare Minerals Ready Shadow in uh, the top shelf. This has been one of my favourite, favourite eyeshadows of late and I really, really love using it for an everyday look. And I thought I might do something with it that's a little bit more dressed up as well so you can use it for, uh, for multiple different purposes. I paired it up with the Steel uh, liquid liner in snow which was in my collection but I'd never used before but um, yeah I, I hope you guys like it it's a little bit different but it's something that I feel looks quite flattering uh, for white liner you can mix it up as well I used uh, I used just kind of a nudie brown uh, lip color um, which is my favorite kind of lip combo at the moment but even something a little bit brighter like a bright uh, orange red would work really well with this look as well so I hope you guys like the look. If you do, uh, keep watching for the tutorial. Okay, so I'm just going to start out with my uh, Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Pore Minimizing Primer. I'm just going to pop that all over my face uh, with my fingers. Next up, I'm taking my Makeup Forever HD Foundation and I'm just taking maybe a pump and a half of that and blending that all over my face with the Marc Jacobs Face 2 brush. And I'm just going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just going to pop that under my eyes and just around my mouth and nose. You can use this on any blemishes that you have as well and it'll cover it up really nicely. And I'm just blending that one in with uh, the MAC 224 brush. And I'm just going to set that with my Biteri Hyaluronic Powder just on the uh, MAC 138 brush. And next up I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder and I'm going to take that on the uh, MAC 165 and I'm just going to pop that under my eyes here. And that'll just brighten the whole area up. Next I'm going to take some of my uh, So Ceylon Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC on my 138 brush and just do a tiny bit of, uh, tiny bit of bronzing. So mostly focusing on the, uh, the forehead, a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the upper cheekbones. I love how this skin finish actually looks on the skin. It just, uh, it seems to give a little bit of luminosity and it just looks sun-kissed. It's quite a red-based bronzer colour, um, so it actually, it, it looks like you've been in the sun for a little bit and it adds that uh, bit of warmth to the skin, but it also adds a slight uh, pinky red tinge that kind of looks like you've been in the sun. And on the cheeks, I'm just going to take Hourglass uh, Luminous Blush, uh, Ambient Blush, and I'm going to take it on the uh, MAC 116 brush, just pop that onto the um, apples of the cheeks. Okay, so today I'm just going to do some quick and easy brows. I'm going to use my Benefit Gimme Brow, and then I'm going to fill in any spaces that kind of are a little bit sparse with my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Now for the eyes, I'm just going to take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, uh, the champagne colour, and I'm just going to use that to prime my eyelids. Thank you. 
and this colour just provides a really beautiful base for shimmery eyeshadows as well. Next I'm just going to take my Bare Minerals Duo in the top shelf and I'm just going to take the, uh, the light peachy colour and I'm going to pop that all over the lid and I'm just going to do that using the Inglot Paddle Brush. Next up I'm just going to take the bronze colour, this one here from this duo, and I'm going to apply that using the NARS uh, crease brush, just into the crease. And I'm just going to take that same colour on a small blending brush and I'm just going to pop that under the eye as well. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of MAC cork and I'm just going to uh, kind of deepen up the outer, the outer corner of the crease and a little bit underneath the eye as well. And because that's a matte shadow, that'll just soften the shimmer down a little bit. And next I'm just going to take my Stila Liquid Liner Pen in Snow, which is this really nice opaque white colour, and I'm just going to line my upper lid. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take the liner, and I'm just going to make kind of a, a placement mark that kind of lines up with the angle that my eye, uh, that my bottom lid moves up on. So I'm just making that mark. and just filling in across the lid. Now I've found that these pen liners make doing liquid lines a lot easier, um, but liquid liner it takes a bit of practice, it's something that you do have to practice at in order to get it right. It's not something that you will get right the first time, but these pen liners they do help. It's looking a little bit scary at the moment, but once we, um, once we get liner on the inner rims and mascara on and lashes, it's going to look a lot more cohesive. I'm just taking my NARS Larger Than Life um, eye pencil uh, in just a plain black colour and I'm just going to line my inner rim on the bottom and on the top. Okay, and I'm just going to uh, curl my lashes and I'm just going to apply the Dior, uh, Dior Addict It Lash to the top and the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara to the bottoms. And on the top I'm just going to apply a, uh, a strip lash which is the Red Cherry 747S and, um, and that will actually help to kind of make it look like I've got a little bit of black liner in between the lashes and the white liner and that'll, um, that'll kind of tie the whole look together. So I'm just popping a bit of glue on the back of my hand, this is just a duo adhesive. 
I'm just taking uh, one of the lashes and just applying some glue to the back and then I'm just going to pop those onto my eyes. Now I like to use my fingers for lashes but some people uh, find it easier to use tweezers um, but I'm just letting the glue kind of sit a little bit on there and then I'll apply the lash. And if, you're, um, if your lashes weren't quite curled enough, if you want to take a, um, a small spoolie and just kind of comb your lashes through with the, uh, with the false lashes, that'll actually help to, um, to stick them together and just make sure that it looks cohesive. Now for lips, I'm going to take something that's um, kind of, I guess a little bit brighter. Actually, I might use the lip combo from my last tutorial the one that didn't quite work out for that one. Um, I'm going to use Saw Lip Liner from MAC. And my Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Mudslide. And there we go and that's it um, I'm really quite happy with how the look turned out it's it's a little bit different um, but it is it is really quite summery really quite bright and I feel like those two colors the uh, the gold and the white liner they actually complement each other quite well and help to define the eyes quite nicely so yeah I, I hope you guys like the tutorial uh, feel free to leave me a comment below if you want to see anything else and I'll uh, talk to you all later Bye.